Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. All right, welcome back. And so I wanted to cover the firmware of these T-Mobile home internet gateways. You can see I have a couple of mine up here. The Arcadian KVD21 here, I took off the cover. I still haven't put it back on yet. And then behind it, I have the trash can, which is the Nokia um, fast mile uh, type. Uh, gateway that's out there both of them get firmware updates they push them over the air so i want to cover what some of the changes have been how you can find out when new ones come out as well as what the changes that they say they're going to be in those and a little bit of comments here and there about what uh people have said about at least some of these latest updates to do that i'll hop my computer and show you but i will cover both of them and know that this stuff always changes and so if you watch some of my other videos if they're older videos um you know they might have been before from where update happens you know t-mobile is making improvements to it i would say it's a little bit slower than i would like for a lot of these issues but they have taken feedback so if you are having problems with your gateway um, do reach out to the tech support i would recommend facebook messaging them as probably the easiest way to, to do it if you can't get them on the phone or there's a long wait. So let's hop right into the computer here and show you how you figure out this stuff. Okay, so to go and get the best information, there's information out there on Facebook, Reddit, and other sites that uh, report. And some of that is good information, but they actually do have a official web page where they uh, lay out what the different firmware versions are and what they say the changes are. I'll, I will say that I've noticed some difference in opinions from some other users as far as what they say happens. And, you know, the T-Mobile guys say that it improves stability. Other people say that it just did the opposite. So let's go in here and see where it is. All right, so this is the, the address here. It's actually on the T-Mobile support website. And they have a devices and then firmware updates for the T-Mobile home internet. And this covers all three of the kind of mainstream devices, the old 4G LT one, the Nokia one, as well as the Arcadian one. So they give you a couple information um, things here that tell you that, you know, they're pushed out automatically over the air and, um, you know, you won't notice much other than maybe the T logo on the top flashing and then obviously your internet will stop working while it's doing that. They say they cannot be manually requested. I think that's semi true. Um, you know, they are highly against doing any kind of manual pushes, but I think technically it is possible. And um, it's more of a policy standpoint that they don't. I've heard of a couple cases where they will either back um, off a update, but I think they're pushing back and making that harder and harder to get. So basically don't assume that you can call them or message them and say, hey, I want the new one or I want an older one. So um, they get phased out over a few weeks. Obviously, this um, service is really spreading very well. So they have uh, hundreds of thousands of users. And so it takes time to um, distribute that update. And then it happens in the middle of the night, hopefully when no one's using it. And then obviously don't unplug it uh, while it's doing that. So if I go here and I, I show this, even though I think a lot of people don't have this um, gateway because it's older now, but just to kind of show you the level of detail that it has as well as how many updates they got. Now, one thing it doesn't do, it doesn't give a date of when these were put out, which is a little bit disappointing, but this gives you an idea of how many they had probably over, I think this is maybe a year or so, maybe a year and a half that they had this out. Um, so, here you can see fairly good details as far as things that get changed. Now, if we go to the Nokia one, you can see that we already have, depending on how you count it, four or five different versions of firmware there. And that one um, is also a little bit over a year old as far as when it came out and uh, started the beta testing. So. Um, it doesn't give as much detail or clarity as far as what it does provide, but obviously you get some idea here that, you know, I mean, it's kind of funny because it says Wi-Fi calling UPnP. Does that mean they removed it? They added it? They improved it? They made stability improvements? It's not very clear here, 
but um, I think on most of these, it was adding the feature uh, from what I remember, you know, adding the capability to, to do that kind of stuff. Um, so you can see the latest version now is this 338 and kind of says that security and stability improvements were made. I heard some people say that's very much true that before they would be um, flipping around different bands or they would need to restart their gateway all the time. Ever since they got this 338, it completely fixed it. But then other people say just the opposite. They had perfectly fine, good working gateway. And now this update prevented them from being able to connect to an N41 5G ultra capacity band. Now they're on the slower N71. So um, what I can say is that it does seem like they've changed the way that they do the um, signal picking and uh, biasing as far as which bands do they hop onto and which ones they don't. And for some people that has not helped them, unfortunately it actually hurt them. All right, so let's go to the Arcadian one. Now, this guy, I think, obviously got released kind of before it was ready in a lot of ways, and that is the only official version they have out there right now. So I was told by the tech support that this gateway, and this was when I was begging with them to send me an Arcadian one, um, they said they really don't want to send it out because the firmware is not, they didn't say it's not ready, they said that there's a lot of firmware fixes coming. Now, I was told that was going to be early February. That never happened. So I'm expecting that to be due any time now. And when it does, I think it, um, I, I hope that it will address some of the web user interface um, features that are lacking and add them in there. So you don't have to do the, the tricks that I have shown in some of my other videos of how you can see all the cell metrics on the browser web GUI, as well as um, how you can go in there and turn off things like Wi-Fi in other settings in, in the Wi-Fi. So um, that is hopefully coming out and that will be listed here once it does. If you enjoyed this video, do consider hitting the like button down below and then add any comments. If you saw some firmware changes that made a big difference, put them down below as well as uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do consider subscribing and checking out my channel page by clicking on my Nader Tater name there by my, my logo. And you can go to my page and see all these other T-Mobile, Marinette videos, as well as Verizon, things about my Bobcat Toolcat, woodworking, metalworking, all kinds of stuff. So be sure to check it out and enjoy.